guys as you can tell i just woke up i really don't feel like getting out of bed this is how to make your hotel room feel homely 101 <laughs> the bed was really nice i like those white hotel sheets let's open the calendar shall we so i should open the first two days the bags are actually <laughs> so small Oh, they're tiny. They're smaller than the usual small ones. So these are the classic beers. Oh. I'm so sleepy. Where is day two? I don't see it. Am I blind or what? Here it is. What was that? Sheep? A bell? So it's a bunch of Christmassy ones. That's cute. And then the third one is it's here. Let's open the third one. Oh, moms. Chair moms. I'm gonna take those in my bag with me and eat them on the bus. Oh, uh, but now I'm gonna drink some water and go do my makeup. And I guess I will film some of it because I wanna use a new product. I feel like I've been drinking this whole bottle. Okay, the weather outside is really not the best. It's been pouring rain when I woke up, and now it's just like gray and miserable. Okay, so I decided that I want to try all of these new products. Can you see the color better here? Yeah, you can. It's really pretty, it's like a rose gold color. Then I'm gonna use this baby lips and strike a rose. The lighting is probably terrible. Can't do anything about it. Let's get on with the makeup. So we're using this foundation in ivory as I told you. It's like a moussey texture. It's really, really interesting. Nothing I've used before. Keeps a really nice finish to your face. I like it a lot. It's almost like blurring products. It gives you that kind of airbrushed look. It has covered all of the unwanted redness on my face. Gonna I'm going to tell my Android's really quickly using my SLR corrector. I still have this one big pimple in the middle. Okay, now I want to do my eyebrows using this brow satin in dark blonde. So this is the end of a pencil. It's like a retractable pencil, but it doesn't have a spoolie. Oh, it's a really precise one, really precise pencil. Reminds me of MAC eyebrow pencil. I used to use it in the color Fling. I think it has more pigment than the Master Shape pencil that I use. It's less waxy. I'm gonna use the powder end, which looks like that. But I don't really think I need it because my brows are dark anyway yeah i don't feel like i need to use it and i'm gonna set them with brow artist plumper from l'oreal in the color light medium this is what it looks like pretty similar to the essence one that i use oh it's really nice i much prefer it to the maybelline one now i'm just gonna use my Givenchy le prism powder to set my makeup. I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of Maybelline Pink Gold eyeshadow. It's one of my favorites. I love it. It's just really, really brightening. Especially if you didn't get enough of sleep, you feel tired in the morning, it really kind of brightens your eyes. It's a very pretty color. And um, 
it's very much that something that Candice One Paul would wear, I feel like. I have 15 minutes to be done with my makeup. Okay, but I'm nearly there. I'm gonna use the blusher now. Guys, I have no idea how to open this blush. Very stupid other one. What? Oh, it's like... Oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> it opens up like that. That's pretty cool. It's such a pretty color. Oh, it's definitely a lot like Orgasm from NARS. Yeah, I think it could be a dupe, even. That's a bit too much, so I'm gonna blend it out with a foundation brush. The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. Look at the wand. This is what it looks like. It's quite thick and the bristles are really really short. So let's see. I don't know, I'm not wowed by it. Not yet anyway. Let's put another coat of it. To be honest with you, I I do prefer my Lash Sensational Mascara. Okay, and the finishing touch is Baby Lips in Strike a Rose. It looks really bright, kind of like a coral pink, but let's see on the lips. Mm, it smells really nice. It's a very fruity thing. It has quite a lot of pigment. It's almost like um, a lipstick. I'm gonna blend it into my lips for more like a stain. I'm gonna apply my body mist. This is uh, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I don't think you can see anything here. You cannot see it better in the bathroom either. So far I'm really impressed with the base products, with the blush and the baby lips is quite nice as well. And now I'm gonna put my jeans on and go downstairs for breakfast. So that's me already for my breakfast. These shoes are actually quite comfy considering I walked all day from morning till evening in them yesterday. So I had a really nice breakfast and now I still have time before I need to take a taxi to the bus station. So I'm gonna watch Vlogmas videos. Yesterday I only watched Tanya, so I'm gonna link it down below for you guys if you don't follow Tanya already. Her first Vlogmas was so amazing. She got the prettiest three decorations ever. And it just reminds me how much I love watching her Vlogmas every single year. It just gets me into the Christmas spirit. And now I'm gonna watch Melanie's and after that I'm gonna get going. My hotel, I'm leaving now packed all my stuff and ready to go. I'm back home, finally. I'm gonna go and have some lunch because my mom cooked something and she said, come downstairs to eat and look at that. What a lazy boy. He's just snoozing on my bed as always. Play. He doesn't even say hi to me. He doesn't care about me. Go away. <laughs> no. Did you miss me? Oh. You didn't miss me at all. Oh. I love you. I love you. Okay, and what I'm really excited about is opening Tanya's advent calendar. So, ooh, that's a big one. Number three. I accidentally pushed the number four, but I didn't see it, so that's okay. It's a nail polish. It says nail your party look right now. Let's get it out. Oh, it's a full size polish actually, but these products are really difficult to get out, so 
I'll have to do it off camera. Let's open day number three. Where is it? I'm blind as always. It's a little snowflake. I have to use scissors to get her products out and it was so funny um, how Tanya couldn't get her own products out because um, in her vlogmas she's also opening her calendar and she was saying poor design Tanya, poor design so um, if she's gonna do one next year I think she will probably change the design but here is the nail polish what color is it? it's like forest green a very dark color with green silver and blue shimmering particles not a color I would normally go for but I think it looks beautiful under the sea yeah it kind of looks like something under the sea and I love the little heart on the lid and I actually ordered five of her nail polishes three from her main collection and two from her Christmas collection but I ordered these to my boyfriend's address in Paris so when I go to Paris I'm gonna pick these up and then I received a packaging which I'm gonna open Korea. Oh, I totally forgot about these pieces of jewelry. This company actually contacted me and I completely forgot about these pieces, so it's such a lovely surprise. It says, hi Yeva, thank you again. I hope you will like our jewelry. Luna Pixis, it's the name of the brand. And look at these earrings. They're stunning. Oh my goodness, I love them. These earrings remind me of Maria Black earrings. How stunning are these? Let's see what's in this one. <gasps> wow! It's a pair of lightning bolt earrings. Um, they do remind me of Harry Potter. And a very beautiful ring. Okay, it's in focus now. Look at that ring. Isn't it gorgeous? It's like a spiky ring that has little crystals. But it's quite small, so I suppose it's a midi ring. I might have to wear it on my pinky. Because it's pretty small. Or you can wear it as a midi ring as well. It's so, so beautiful. I love my dainty gold jewelry. This is what the earrings look like. So you are supposed to wear it like that, but I don't like that you can see the gold bar. So I think I would wear it like that, just press it maybe a little bit harder and wear it like that. Look how pretty! Oh my god, I love it. It's very unique, chic and super sparkly. I love it! Such gorgeous jewelry, isn't it? So guys, that's the name of the brand. Here is their website. By the way guys, doesn't this blush look so pretty? Foundation has held on pretty well. Um, it's been five hours or so. It looks very luminous, doesn't look too matte. The cheeks look really glowy. So I'm very impressed with the new blush from Maybelline. I just had something to eat, chatted to my mom about my experience in Vilnius. And now I'm editing yesterday's vlog. It's already almost 5 in the evening and I haven't edited or uploaded it yet. And uploading takes quite a few hours. So I really hope I'll manage to do it tonight. And um, at around 7 o'clock I have to go pick up my cousin Linda from uh, music school. It's because family is going to the friend's house. So I'll have to stay with my little cousin in my auntie's house. Maybe help her do her homework or something, I don't know. We will see. Let's put some lights on. These are from Tiger. Someone asked me where these lights are from. They're from Tiger. I still need to get more. Look how excessive I am this year with my advent calendars. But it just makes me so happy. I'm like a little child. I get my beauty products, my uh, jelly gums and my chocolate. And that's just amazing. I came to pick up my cousin. Still not here. I'm gonna wait for her. Um, and yeah, Vlogmas 
puts quite a bit of pressure on you because you have to do editing every single day both day one and day two of my vlogmas turn out to be over one hour long and it's really difficult to edit them down to a watchable um, size I guess like 15 20 maximum 25 minutes I took my computer with me I'm gonna let her do her homework while I will be editing my vlogmas day two get my aunt's Christmas lights so pretty I just got back home I went to my aunt's house and that's her dog Rania we are home <laughs> look at her staircase it's so pretty my cousin is gonna start reading Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows tomorrow. But she's reading it in Lithuanian, obviously. Hi! Look at her, isn't it? She's so beautiful and so cute. I think she looks a lot like Louis, she's just a different color. With similar pattern. Louis is just more beige and light grey. Look at her whiskers, she looks like a seal. <laughs> and that's my aunt's insanely amazing bookshelf. This is dreamy, I dream to have a bookshelf like this in my future house someday. Both my aunt and my cousin are bookworms, so they read a lot. I'm gonna show you some of her books. She loves Isabella Land and John Irving, John Galsworthy, the Foresight Saga, books about Cleopatra, I really want to read those. So it's nice to come here and borrow some books from her. That's my cousin, Harry Potter. Um, yeah, sometimes I just come here and browse. I really want to read this Me Before You by Yoya Mois. Oh, I also really want to read all of the Philippa Gregory books. I haven't read any of them, but both my aunt and my mom read um, all of them, I think. And these seem to be exactly my type of books. And that's not everything. She has another bookshelf. <laughs> Look what their cat does. My aunt gets really angry because she just comes here, sits on bidet, and she opens the tap so that water starts running. And then she drinks water this way, but it can definitely flood the bathroom so I better get her out of here <laughs> get out let's go downstairs look at that it's so cute mademoiselle here Hi. look what a little munchkin I have here look at a little baby So my cousin just went to sleep because she has to wake up really early for school and I just finished editing my video finally it turned out 20 over 23 minutes I think like 24 but it was over one hour so I still think it's pretty good it's really long but I hope you guys will like those long ass vlogmas videos so now I'm gonna eat clementines drink my tea and I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlogmas day three and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!